Let's see how we can determine the domain of f of x equals the square root of x plus 3 over x minus 7. Now we know that we've seen some issues with domains when we have square roots and when we have these so-called rational functions and we have divisions. And here we've got a combination of them. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on that square root. Now we know that for that square root, if it was just, if we were just I just thought of this function, q of x equals the square root of x plus 3, then to determine the, the domain of this function, we would need x plus 3 to be greater than or equal to 0. And so then solving that, we have x is greater than or equal to negative 3. So now if we were to think of that on a number line, that means this, right, from negative 3 all the way to the right. So there's negative 3. But now the issue is we also have this x minus 7 in the denominator. So we know that since we're not allowed to divide by 0, we now also know that x cannot equal positive 7. And so there's sort of a break here when x equals 7. And so what we will say is, well, the domain goes from negative 3 to infinity, but there's a break in it at 7. And so how we'll distinguish that break is, you know, if you think of it as an open point, uh, however you want to think of it, there's a break there. And so what I will do is I will write, I'll think of there being parentheses oh, at 7 in either direction. So in a sense, we go from negative 3 up to 7, jump over it, and then go from 7 to infinity. So then the domain of this function is negative 3 uh, to 7 union 7 to infinity. And that's an in interval notation. All right, hope this helps.